two, one, you're on the air. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you at home for watching this meeting of the Town Board of the Town of Carmel for Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. Before we get started, as always, we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. So would everybody please rise. And Councilwoman McDonough, would you lead us tonight? Yes, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
for my project. I also, I'm just, there, I want to make sure that Sycamore Park is able to use it. They can use it for storage or teaching kids there in the summer as like a new area. Because I know that, you know, being outside or going inside, there's just another place for them to be. Um, as soon as I get this approved, I want to start my fundraising as soon as I can. So I'll be doing like bake sales or a GoFundMe page or donations or yard sales or uh, selling stuff on Facebook or any other sites just to find out what I need. So the total cost of my project is going to be about $1,400. Some of the stuff I already have, so I didn't put in that for the cost. Um, just an overview of my project, I want to dismantle the old wood ramp, install a joist for the ramp going to the ice house to the cement slab, install decking for the ramp, install the railing posts, install the railing and balusters, and then put down wood chips. I feel that if I do this, that it will get rid of the potential uh, hazard and it will be a nice place for Sycamore Park to use as storage and for teaching. It's really neat. Um, how's, the, uh, how's the building, Jim? The, the building for the ramp is uh, the building. Yeah, the building's in good shape. It's dry inside? Yep. Yeah. Well, what's it used for now? Uh, we don't use it for anything now. Storage? Or? No. No. Nothing. No, we haven't used it. Uh, we, like I said, we rehabbed it back in uh, 2005, and um, it hasn't been used for any anything yet. So with the new ramp, you may be able to use it for something then, right? Yeah, that, well, like, like I said, a lot of our classes now are, are um, outdoors. We're doing more uh, some nature classes throughout Sycamore Park. Mm -hmm. We've developed a little trail system around for the young kids. So this might be a perfect spot to have something like that there. Yeah. That's what I was but thinking. it's not something that we would leave open to the public. It's got a lock on the door. So we would use it for programmed activities. Mm -hmm. It's actually okay. really cute. It's like very picturesque, you yeah. know, and I think the trail leading down to it's going to be really, it, it's going to be neat. Mm -hmm. All right, great. When, when do you want to start this project? In the spring or? Yeah, I'm looking towards maybe the end of February, beginning of March, oh. something like that. Okay. Or. Maybe as soon as possible. I right. also want to make sure that I have enough money for fundraising because I know that um, with COVID, that prices have rise in materials and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. weather weather permitting, mm -hmm. you'd like to get it started. March March time frame. He's got yeah. to finish it by May because he turns uh, 18 in May, right? But you turn when you turn 18. Yeah, May. May. That's when I turn 18. So it has to be finished by May. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like you have pretty ambitious, ambitious ideas and thoughts, and you have everything laid out, mm -hmm. you know, to accomplish this. And fundraising, uh, let us know when and where that, that's going to be. Let Jim know, and he'll let us mm -hmm. know. And uh, if it's a bake sale, we'll stop by. Okay. Or some of us will, whoever would like to, but I'll stop by. Yeah, th this yeah. is awesome. All right. I'll stop by too. We can help yeah. you publicize it too if you want. If you give us the information a little ahead of time, we can we can publicize it here at the meeting and on social media as well. Oh, thank you. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can get. We should get be able to get you that amount that you need in no time. Yeah, I had, uh, started put up a GoFundMe page. I think I th uh, I've raised a thousand dollars so far. I've sent it out to my troop and some of my family members and friends during the holidays, and they've donated generously. So I, I Doesn't don't want seem like you need much more. Antiquated. No. Go find your no. page. What is, That's great. What is that? Yeah, I'm also going to be having a temperature gun yeah. and uh, mask there for the people so that they don't try to raise money. You know, get sick or have COVID, just to keep sick. Excellent. Yeah. So, so Excellent. Matthew, Excellent. with the GoFundMe page, what do you do? You just Google your name with GoFundMe. I, um, I send out like a link, basically, to. People, if you want, I can send it out to Mr. Gilchrist, and he can yeah. send it yeah, to you. Would to you? you? Please, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. No hey, problem. Matt, just one one question on the construction: sure. where the ramp meets the walkway mm -hmm. that you're going to be replacing? Yes. Um, it, it it looks like there's footings there. Is is there footings that you're going to be able to put the new posts on, or do you have to put new sono tubes and pour it with concrete with footing? 
Are you going to use the existing footings that are there? Um, where, where the ramp meets the, uh, yeah. the concrete ramp meets the walkway. Looks like you'll be able to use those, yeah. those footings that are there. I'm looking forward to using them, and if not, I'll have to do them over again. How do they look, Jim? Do they look that, okay? That's a concrete slab that's there, and the, yeah. uh, the existing uh, posts are bolted to the slab. So he'll be able to yeah. bolt the uh, new post to that, yep. that slab. What's underneath it, Jim? Is it with that waterway underneath it? Or just no, it's a gradual pitch down towards the building. Okay. It's really neat. I was also maybe hoping to make the uh, trail just a little bit wider as well. Mm -hmm. The trail goes down to the lake? The trail uh, to the yeah, that's yeah. the leads to the main trail, oh, so or like cool. the road trail that goes all the way down to the mm -hmm. entrance. Awesome. All right. Matthew, thank it's a, you. It's a good project. Thank it's a good you. project for you. So, uh, and the town, the town benefits from it. So thank you very much. You're welcome. We appreciate yeah. it. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Thank, and, you, yeah. And thank you. Jimmy, keep us posted on the yep. fundraising, all right? You got it. Yep. All right. Thank all right, Matt. Do you have any other questions for us? Uh, not really. I just want to thank you very much for having me here. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. For having a chance to present it to myself. Yep. Thank, thank you thank very Thank you, much. and you did a great job presenting it. Thank you. Good job. Thanks so much. All right, we look forward to it, to seeing it, and walking on it. And let us know when your Eagle Scout Court of Honor ceremony is, when and where. Hopefully it can be in person. Okay. You know, when you have it. Yeah, I'll keep uh, Mr. Gilchrist uh, in touch with what I'm doing. Okay. And then he can uh, email you. Perfect. All right. Great. Thank Perfect. You, Thanks so much. Thank you very much. All right, Matt. Have a good Thanks, night. Thanks, Matt. You too. Yeah. Take care. Stay safe. All right. Thank you very much again. You're welcome. Yeah, you're oh, don't forget your hat. Okay. The first item is the review of town board minutes of December 15, 2020. Any town board members have any comments on those minutes of December 15th? Being none, we're going to move on to uh, number one on the agenda, consider request to authorize bond return for Hillcrest Commons, tax map number 44.10-1-4, it's for $770,000. Uh, the Rich couldn't be here tonight, as you know, um, so he asked me to, to cover this one. This is Hillcrest Commons. They're located behind ShopRite up off of Route 52 in, in Carmel, and uh, it's senior housing rental units. They've, they've done other projects on that same parcel. This is just, I would say, phase three or phase four that they've just completed. And the bond that they're requesting to be returned is for $770,000. And this has been signed off on by Craig Papria, our planning board chairman on 12-30-2020. And Rich Franzetti, the town engineer, uh, conducted his inspections of the site, and he signed off on it on 12-2 of 2020. You have a letter here from Mike Carnazza as well, because the board you know, required that the building inspector inspect it before we return any or release any bonds on any projects. And this memo was from Mike Carnazza. I inspected the site on 12 14 2020 and found that the site is in conformance with the approved site plan. There are no pending violations on the site. So, board, you're, you're free to agree to um, release the $770,000. That's the full amount of the bond that. Right, Greg? That's the remaining amount. It was reduced about eight years ago. I think it was uh, almost a $2 million bond for the initial site work on that project, and it was reduced in 2013. So that's the remaining amount. And they're finished the build-out. Uh, there is a dedication process. They're actually dedicating the tower and uh, the water tank and some of the facilities to water, too, but that's going to be after. Um, but the site work's done uh, according to the engineer, according to the planning board, uh, and according to uh, the building department. Okay. Yeah. Do you need a resolution to uh, to reduce to, re uh, to release the remaining right. reduced bond? And I was told I was told by the engineer and my Carnazza that they did a very good job on that project. Everything was done correctly. They you know didn't cut costs, didn't cut corners, and they uh, it looked it came out nice. If you haven't been, if, yeah, if you've been up there, it really came out nice. They did a great job. They always do. This is Wilder Boulder, and they've built many of these in the area, mm -hmm. and this is just the one in the Hamlet in the in Carmel. So. Yeah. Now, that, Greg, that's, uh, that's built out now, right? There's no other room up there for any there, other? There were two phases, uh, yeah. 150 uh, market rate rental senior uh, units that were built out pretty much evenly in two phases. Uh, they built the first one out in 2011 or 2012. It was done. They had lost some state funding, mm -hmm. uh, so it was delayed phase two a few years, but they got it uh, started again, and it's built out. 
I mean, if the site work's and done. It's, and it's rented out, too. I don't no. I believe they have a waiting list to get in there. Well, if the site so. work's done, the bond can go back as long as the engineering department and the planning board agree, and they had their public hearing, which they did. Okay. All right, Greg, thank you. Any questions, comments on this item? No. no? Okay. Number two, James Gilchrist, Director of Parks and Rec. This is to authorize a renewal of agreement with ASCAP, Association of Composers, Authors, and Publishers for the 2021 Summer Concert Series. We do this annually, Jim, so you, you want to just briefly go over it? Every year. This is our license agreement. Um, this is required that we have to do this for all of our outdoor concerts uh, and any other music that we perform throughout the year. Uh, it's based on the population. I think our fee is uh, $367 for the year. So uh, this is something that we have to do annually. Ken, you've got to sign the, uh, the agreement, and uh, we'll move forward with that. All right. We just need a resolution next week for that. Yep. Uh, and it does not, it, this does not cover the movies, though. We have to, any movies that we have, like the uh, drive-in movies, mm -hmm. uh, when we rent the movie, we pay a, uh, a fee uh, similar to this for each movie which is about uh, the movie and the fee is about $300 per movie. Okay. This is right. just for the music. All right. No, the, the movies that we had last year, the outdoor movies, Yep. That, that was, they were really popular, right, Jim? They sold out pretty quick? Yes. Yep. The ones up at yeah, what we did is uh, instead of having concerts, we used the funds for, uh, for, for I think, three outdoor movies up at Camarda Park. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, right. depending on what happens this year, we'll be, uh, right. we'll be looking at doing that. Uh, Nina and I were just talking about it earlier. Uh, chances are the egg hunt might be in jeopardy this year by the time things roll out. So we might use those funds for um, some outdoor movies during the late spring, early summer. Uh, our, our concerts are all booked. We have everybody booked for the uh, summer. We're going to do late, you know, uh, late spring, early, early summer, and fall concerts. Okay. So uh, we were planning on definitely doing that. All right, good. And if there's any restrictions, we'll follow those in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're probably going to lighten up as the, as the summer goes along, you know, with spacing and all that. Okay. All right. Good. Thanks, Jim. You got it. Okay. Any questions on this one? Nope. All right. Next, number three. This is to consider authorize the extension of agreement for one year for food concession stand at Sycamore Park. Yeah, we have a three-year uh, contract with Carmel, Vagalicious up, up in Carmel. Uh, that it will be expiring this uh, March. Uh, we did not use their services last year. Obviously, uh, everything was shut down. So what I was instead of going back out for RFPs, what I was hoping to do is to extend it one year. Uh, that would carry us through to, to March uh, 2022 uh, to, to cover us because it's still in jeopardy on, on how we're going to go. And it would be hard, very hard to get pricing on this kind of a climate right now. So they've agreed to uh, the same price that they did over the last three years. It would be a $3,000 fee that they would pay the town mm -hmm. to operate the concession in Sycamore Park, which is primarily used for the summer camp, but it's also used for other special events that we have throughout the year, Harvest Fest and, and all the other, other programs that we have. They're, they're an outstanding uh, concessionaire. We've never had any issues with them there. They've uh, worked great with the health department. Uh, with the, no violations and all that, so I'd highly recommend them for another year. All right. Yeah, they do a great job. Yeah. All right. Any any questions, comments on this item? No. 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 All right, Jim. Uh, do you want to handle Lily McManus's for the sure. uh, the little library box, the chamber? Yeah. Uh, did, uh, did you guys actually see the pictures in your packet? We did. Yeah. See I the did. Boxes yeah. Look yeah. Like? Yep. yeah. Very cute. So uh, what Lily's planning on doing is um, in, down in the chamber park. Having a, uh, I would call it an oversized mailbox type structure that would be put up in the park with bookshelves on the inside and a door on the outside. And uh, there would be books, children, primarily children's books that would be uh, placed in there. So the residents uh, could come down, grab a book, uh, read a book when they're down in the playground or whatever they're doing down in the park, return it or take it home. Uh, we have uh, the same setup in Sycamore Park in the main building. And this is managed by the Mayapak Library. They will come by and add books if they're needed, mm -hmm. you know, change them up. Uh, some residents will bring books and, and donate them. So I think this is a great idea. Um, so she was looking to do, uh, it's not, it's not, it's be about 100 to 300 dollars to build the structure. Mm -hmm. uh, she would get it off the ground, advertise it, 
and then the library would pick up maintaining it going forward. Jim, just one, one clarification on this, if, if you sure. can. On the agenda, it indicates that it's the gold award, and in her letter, she's uh, indicating it's for the silver award. Is it it's, the silver? It's probably the silver. I, I might have made a mistake with that. Uh, all right. Yeah. It's a silver award? I think it's a silver. The gold yeah. award is the highest. It's almost yeah, it's like the probably US a silver, yeah. silver award. So silver award? Yep. Okay. All right, good. All right. Uh, yeah, I think it's really nice. I think it would be uh, well, well used yep. and well served at that location. And she, who's going to take care of uh, stock, restocking you? The Manpack Library will. They, they will? They'll, yep. they'll go down there? They'll rotate the books around? And yes. And, yep. Is it? Is it... Um, the door on it, how do you secure that door? It's just going to have a latch on it. Just a latch so, so anybody could go over there, yeah. pull a book out? It would be a weatherproof door that would be on the outside so the books don't get wet. And then mm -hmm. uh, you probably have a, you know, a spring-loaded hinge on it that would, would latch shut. And it's on your honor, I guess, right? It's just you, you, have to, you take the book you, and then you bring it. You, you no, you it. don't have to bring You can take the book. That's what it's there you for. Just keep, you keep the book? You keep the book, yeah. Okay. And as the books run out, uh, the library will restock it. And then other residents, uh, we've had people donate uh, books to Sycamore Park that we have. We keep it in the main room. So the children classes at the end of the class, the kids will grab a book or parents will grab a book and take it home. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I like the fact that they can take it because now during COVID, I was kind of iffy with the, somebody reading it and putting it back. Yep. You know, so it, I think it's great. I, I love the project. I think it's I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. And I'll add character and a little bit of arts and a little bit yeah. of, um, you know, the education down there also. Did you pick out a location for it there, Jim? No, we're still trying to figure out. Um, pro I would think on the left side of the gazebo towards the playground on the side over there. Um, I think that's where we were probably, because we do have a lot of benches and, and tables on that side of the, mm -hmm. of the park. Uh, that would be, I think that would be probably the best spot to put it. Because okay. that's where you're going to have the, mo the most activity is over by the playground area. Yep. And I, didn't, I didn't read the whole thing, Jim, but is, is this a spring project also? Yeah, that would be done in the spring. She's going to do it in the spring? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, she's got to do a little fundraising for it. And... Yep. Okay. All right. And then she wants to advertise it and have other communities pick up on this idea. That's, her, mm -hmm. that's part of her project also. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's a real really, nice idea. It's really cute. Yeah. It's good. Yep. Yep. And maybe even they can put it in some of the other nice. parks that we have too. Yeah. You know, the airport, Camarda. Yep. It would be really cute. All right. Thanks, yeah. Lily. All right. Yep, thank All you. right. Any other questions for Jim? What was here? No. Thanks, Jim. You got it. All right. Have a good night. All right. Thanks, Jimmy. Yep. Thanks. All right. Um, so that completes the agenda items for this evening's town board work session. Uh, since there's no one here to ask questions, we're going to skip, skip that. We're going to skip the new open forum portion of the meeting. And I just had, I have one announcement. This is a notice of vacancy. The town board of the town of Carmel is looking for interested and qualified persons, person to fill a vacancy on the Environmental Conservation Board. Please submit a letter of interest and resume to Supervisor Ken Schmidt, Carmel Town Hall, 60 McAlpin Avenue, OPAC, New York, 10541, or fax it to 845 Six two eight six eight three six. You can email it also to amp2 at amerypoll2 at ci.carmel.ny.us to be submitted to the supervisor's office by February 3rd, 2021. For additional information, please check our website at www.ci.carmel.ny.us. Again, we're looking for a candidate to serve on our, our Environmental Conservation Board. So if you're interested, uh, get that letter of interest and resume to my office before February 3rd. Town board members have any announcements? Kenny, did you want me to uh, summarize the conference call today with regard to the vaccine rollout? Sure. Did you want to do it? No, go ahead. No. All right. Yeah. So ahead. we had a conference call today, Kenny and I, with the department, uh, the county Department of Health, with the county executive's <coughs> office, um, and et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, with this vaccine rollout program, so the gist of it is this what they want everybody to understand is that is this is a um, marathon and not a sprint uh it's not the um the vaccines are given out by the state uh right now they are giving out to the county of putnam the entire county 300 vaccines per week 
all right? And those vaccines, those 300, have to be given to uh, those who have been approved already by the state of New York in that 1A list, which include first responders, uh, medical staff, nursing home That's staff. 1B, Frank. Uh, 1B. I'm sorry, 1B. 1B, 1B um, like a f a fire department, personnel, uh, like that. Now, so we're in a county of 100,000 people. Let's take into consideration the fact that that population under the 1B is probably, let's just say 10,000 for argument's sake. It's going to take a real long time to roll out the 300 vaccines per week to be given out to all those people as well as to the general population. And there's a website you can go on. I think it's called Am I Eligible, right? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can go on that and you can check different locations where you can get your vaccine. Um, right now, the Westchester County uh, County Center is a state uh, hub where they're going to be giving out vaccines. They started already this week. Basically, if you can get your vaccine anywhere else and still, you know, fit into that category of under the 1B, uh, those over 65 and over, first responders, um, police personnel, everybody else is on that list. You should, you should do it. You should go ahead and see if you can get it somewhere else because it's going to take a little while for them to roll it out here in Putnam County based upon what the state is giving us uh, every week. I know that the county executive's office has said that they are in communications all the time with the state and try and get more vaccines, but right now Putnam, Dutchess, Orange are getting 300 per week, yeah. all right? And we are 100,000. Duchess, I think, is 100,000. 300, it's 300,000. They're still getting the same 300. So I don't know when they're going to roll out more to, to these counties, but again, if you can get it somewhere else, if you can go down to Westchester, if you can go down to the city, if you work down there or have worked down there, you should, you should get it down there. You should do your best to get it down there. Um, and as we get more information on our weekly calls, we will give that information out. But right now, it is what it is. You can call all you want, um, but the calls to the health department have been overwhelmed. I mean, overwhelmed. So the message is there's 300 per week given by the state of New York to the county of Putnam that are given out by the Department of Health. As of, as of yesterday afternoon, the Department of Health and Rite Aid uh, had been willing to participate in the program last night, and things changed, I guess, hourly or minutely, I don't know. Um, Rite Aid is no longer willing to be a distribution center for the vaccines. So right now in Putnam County, it's the Putnam County Health Department, and I know that they're rolling around a little bit looking for different locations in different towns, um, I think tomorrow in Phillipstown, Kenny. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as we get more information, we will give it to you. Um, there's no more information that the town can give you if you were to call here other than what I'm telling you now. You can go on the county's website. They try to update it as often as possible, but again, things change hourly or even more than that. But again, if you can get it somewhere else, you know, please try your best to do so. Mm -hmm. You could try the uh, Westchester Medical Center is the hub of in this region. Yeah. And uh, the county center was taking reservations or appointments for right. the vaccine, but they booked up until April 16th. Right now they're in April. April. Right April, now they're But in they, April. Stopped, they stopped taking, oh, they stopped they're not taking even it. making reservations. As a, okay, so somebody called me, uh, texted me at 4 o'clock that they made a reservation, and it was in mid-April. Now, so I guess they stopped they taking? Stopped. They, 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 they stopped taking reservations. Right. So they're no longer even booking shots right. or reserving shots. Right. You know, but 300 vaccines, 300 doses for Putnam County a week is nothing. A week. For, uh, for 100,000 population. That's 60 nothing. a day. So I don't know how many of the state's getting per week, uh, but certainly they need to open up the allocations more to, to counties so the counties one, can get one, people One vaccinated. good thing that came out yesterday that my brother was informed about, Johnson & Johnson. Now, the, the vaccines that you're getting now, if you don't mind, I'll just talk about this for a couple minutes because it's important. The vaccines that you're getting now, you have to take two shots. One, and then the second dosage is 21 days later, exactly 21 days later. I've heard that the second one causes a little bit more um, uh, um, outbreak in your, your body. You know, you have some more effects of it. But it is what it is. You're building up immunities to it. As of yesterday, last night, Johnson & Johnson is trying to get emergency approval for a one-dose vaccine. 
Uh, I haven't heard as of today if they got the approval or not, but I know that they're working on it. Now that vaccine is supposed to be about 70% effective, whereas the two, vo two dose vaccine is probably about 80 to 90. However, if enough people are getting it, it, it won't make a difference, whether it's 70% or 90%. Mm -hmm. You know, if everybody gets it, it's the herd mentality, herd immunity that we would all be getting. So, again, maybe that'll be a little bit of good news coming down the pike in the next few days or a week. And if that's the case, then maybe there'll be more vaccines out there, and hopefully Putnam County and the town of Carmel will get, you know, their fair share. Let's hope. Yeah. Thanks for that update, Frank. Appreciate I, it. I just had one thing. I just yeah. wanted to thank Olivia um, again, as everybody has probably seen the hero um, veteran banners lined up on Route yeah. 6. She did such a wonderful job. We actually only have, I think, two more brackets left before they're completely sold out. So we may need to order more brackets, but that was her Gold Star Award. So I want to thank Olivia for that. Um, it was a huge success, and it's going to continue in the spring. Okay. Now, are they going to stay up through the winter, sir? They actually Can weren't they? supposed to. I. I don't know. I have to call the people to find out if they, I mean, this winter has been mild other than right. one storm, but I have to call because what they're supposed to do is come up in um, the spring and then come down on Veterans Day. That, that's the time okay. frame yeah. that they're going, but she wanted to get them up for her gold, gold award. And I'm not sure if the highway um, men are going to take can, them can down. Can you find out if, if, yeah. if the elements could damage them yeah, at all? Because yeah. if that's I'll the case, I know it's been mild. Other than the one big snow. I know, but I don't want them to get ruined yeah. the first Did you season find they out? were out there. Yep. And it looks like yep. they end, it looks like the banners end over here at, at Six and Croton Falls. No, they keep on going down. Are yep. they up? Yeah. They, the, the banners aren't up. The brackets are up. All of the brackets that we have are up. Okay. Some of the banners are still being printed, okay. and then they'll, they'll probably put them up in the spring. Okay. But um, if we get any more orders, we just need to get more brackets to put up. Okay. All the brackets are up. So right now it looks like they end at the temple and they go up to 6 and uh, East Lake. Yeah. Up by Lake Plaza. But they mm -hmm. are they yeah. are going further down mm -hmm. 6. All yeah. right, good. Because yeah. they look really nice. Yeah. Perfect. You know, I recognize, I recognize quite a few of the veterans yeah. on there, too, yeah. which is Me. nice. Patty, Patty Bonnie. All right. Anybody else? There's one last thing. Bob? Yeah, I just wanted to commend the uh, highway department on the good job they did during our nor'easter that we had last month. I wanted to say something last uh, you know, last meeting, but they did a great job as always. Yeah, just they did. To thank them. Yep, they do a great job. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate that. Okay, so the uh, the next meeting is next Wednesday, and it's a double meeting, right, Craig? It's voting and work. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's a double. So it's voting and then a work session. Vote on these items, then a work session. The work session items have been coming in very light. As you saw tonight, there was only five of them. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't anticipate too many more for next week. Might be the same number, so. Okay. And then the planning board needs this room for a planning board meeting the following week. And yeah. they picked up the Christmas trees today up in the hamlet, so I guess they'll be doing the next one, is it the 20th? 20th, yeah, the next one's, yeah, Christmas trees are the 20th. So if you have a tree that you haven't gotten picked up yet, it's on, it's on January 20th. Have it out to the curb by then all right those who get have their trash picked up on tuesdays and fridays will get the tree picked up on the 20th all right so that's it we're going to i need a motion to adjourn the meeting so moved so moved seconded by councilman lombardi all those in favor aye, aye. okay Have we're good adjourned night. good night everyone be safe see you next time